is amazing. Hey, what's good, guys? Um, just real quick, I thought I might drop in with something that I just came across. I don't, I'm not sure if this is old. Uh, most likely, the way that the community gets out and get things popping, as far as free plugins and pretty unique plugins. But I came across, I'm in Reason 10 right now, and I came across this uh rack extension which is the line no line noise injector and i have something from wave factory i think it's wave factory yeah wave factory waves factory and it's the cassette transport that gives it the cassette tape emulation and of course none other than the rc20 now, the RC20, I know it's been around for a while, and like I said, I'm probably late to actually putting this out about the cassette transport, but with them both together, included with the line noise rack, and what I'll do is I'll play what I have here now, and then I'll turn on all the effects, just so you can hear it. And I just had an idea of actually what I wanted to do uh, as far as using the cassette tape. And by the way, this is a preset that, I mean, it's not a preset. I'm going to make it, I'm going to save it my own preset. I, I just actually started tinkering around with it. I haven't quite finished it yet. So I was going to turn all of them on, but I'll turn them one by one just so you can hear the difference between the two plugins in the rack extension. So it kind of has that vinyl feel. And what I'll do is I'll turn it up. So you can, so I can exaggerate it. All right. And it even, it even has the hum, which it adds that low end um, warmth to like a lot of drums, uh, sometimes to vocals. You don't want to put too much on there. You can get the high hiss, the vinyl, and all that. I actually overlooked this like for months. Uh, this just kept popping up and I overlooked it now with those settings I added in this tape uh, effect with the rotor valley kind of hitting at 37 percent and what I wanted is when I play it I'm gonna hit play so it can give it that uh, tape intro effect beautiful okay now if I add this RC with the effects that I the settings that I have it kind of thickens the vinyl hiss but at the same time I put a little a little flux to the space that I added on there it's kind of about halfway yeah, that's right. It's directly at 50%. And what I want is I want to exaggerate the sound through the RC20, and then I'm going to back it off later. But right now, I just wanted to really show the difference between the way it sounds with it. And then without it. So that was real quick two plugins that I think you should really give a try the RC 20 I believe it still is either at either 69 or 79 I know there are kind of um, a lot of deals that are out there um, I'm gonna do some research and if I find anything special I'm gonna put it down in the link below I'm also gonna link the 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 website or the direct download to where you can get this cassette uh, plug-in it is free and the line noise injector if you're using reason it is in the uh reason studio shop 
or you can download it through the rack. Uh, you must have, I believe, 9.5 and above. I don't know if they have one for like Reason 7, Reason 8, or anything like that if you're still using it. Um, but those two, oh, that just reminded me. So with that, maybe I'll add in the halftime. So this is the bonus. So this is at 114, it's 44, so I'm gonna go two bars. I'm going to take it a fourth in, actually. Let me make sure I'm at a fourth. So yeah, both in, both out, a fourth. So uh, that may be too slow, let me do an eighth. And I'm gonna go about, actually real quick, just so I make sure, all right. So that was 114. Let's do, what did I say? Uh, it was a quarter note. So, calculate. And 526, 32 milliseconds. 526, 32 milliseconds. Not quite there. So it would need to be all the way up. And let's take uh, some of the low end off about, let's go straight, 44, fundamental for a kick drum. And I'm going to back this off to right under 17, because that's pretty much where my optimal hearing starts. I did the hearing test, and I realized that I can't hear beyond 18, 18 uh, kilohertz. Yeah, I'll see how they sound afterwards. So this will play anyway, but I got it both bypass, so let's go ahead and throw it on. So it sounds like that with it on, but when you add the halftime in it. Back this off, so take this down some more. That was very low. So starting up again. Let's start at the beginning. Alright, just a thought. I can use it, but I don't want it on this per se. Because actually what I want to do, let's go ahead, arm that for record. Let's go ahead, get another track. Let's name this uh, EP Riff. Also, I apologize for the background noise. I got the family watching TV. Baby's up. Squishy squashy. All that good stuff. I just, I was real quick, I was really excited. I wanted to go ahead and drop this down for you. Uh, go from there. Mm. Now, initially, what I want to do is, I think I'm going to push this ahead. I want to record 
the loop but I want to make adjustments on the fly with just the tape stop so how uh, will be a easy way to do that easy way mute uh I'll just multiply it duplicate it I say multiply it so I'm gonna start recording here but this is gonna be my main effect right let's see how this turn out So you kind of get the gist of where I'm going with this. I just missed it. Not perfect but a little tinkering um, a little bit more in depth with it that is kind of like the concept I can see these two plugins or at least the cassette transport and the line noise injector actually having a very good effect on especially if you're going for a low five vibe with it uh, throw in the halftime of course the RC 20 is a beast on its own Matter of fact, so I don't forget, I am going to save this and keep working on it when I can. Do, 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 do. Mr. Man. Oh, I actually forgot I was recording. Anyway, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for the next videos if you guys seen anything that you notice or if is there anything that you would like me to upload or actually go over uh, between reason studio one Ableton FL studio I got experience in all of them um, go ahead drop a comment below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and always remember doing what you love will always seem like work until you put God first all right you have a blessed day Hey guys, I uh, thought I might just go ahead and add this in there. Um, I didn't get a chance to actually put it in the uh, first part of the video, but I did want to go and give a few uh, honorable mentions to plugins that are free and some of them that uh, are, are, they're not cheap and they're not expensive. So um, right now, the first one, so the first one 
for lo-fi to give it that unique uh, sound is isotope vinyl which I have it here you have select this <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is the ones that I go over that I don't have I will download uh, if they're free uh, if they're paid I'll just give them a shout out and suggest that maybe you uh, try them out uh, if I don't have them all right so that's going to be loaded up so I'll go ahead and get this going and if you've never been here you got a choice between 32-bit and 64-bit plugins and what I've noticed is that sometimes a lot of the really nice sound and good um, just like this uh, LA-2A uh, clone compressor it I've tried it on the 32 bit and it's real nice um, but just it only comes in 32 bit and that is kind of like the hiccup that you'll come across a lot on here but for this in particular we're looking for lo-fi FX or saturation so I'm gonna go between the lo-fi and this is by name but I want to go to best rated this one I've tried the TS1 is a very good uh, emulator of tape mastering um, but once again only 32 bit if you haven't visit plugin boutique I suggest that you do it is awesome and a lot of times you can get deals like a dollar deals two dollars three dollars four dollars and along with it they'll throw in a another VST or instrument for free anyway straight to it what I have here are the four extra plugins that um, actually will give well actually three plugins that would give it that lo-fi feel isotope vinyl of course has been around for years since been free for a while also um, you have the waves j37 and here is a different one it's a tube uh, saturator so it doesn't have um, the tape fill or anything it just gives that drive of the saturation and this is a good compliment to add to it uh, some notable mentions that I have ran into a couple issues of actually getting them downloaded but I'll try to go through it again take my time and go through it later on to get the um, it is the good Hertz plugins you have the low high the can opener I've tried the Wolf compressor and the wild control is really really nice you know something like that that they have for commercials and stuff I downloaded a bunch of this I cannot tell you where I got it from I'm not even gonna lie. Um, so let's try that. I just want a certain part of it. Actually, I'll just take the intro. So we're gonna chop this up. It looks like that's pretty much dead on right there. So what I love about Ableton and Studio One is that you can adjust the curvature of the fade. And I'm pretty sure after a few of the videos I'm put on, I'm gonna point this out like so many times, so I just really like that. Um, being a reason user, you don't have that ability. And in Studio One, you hold down shift while you slot, uh, drag the marker to wherever you want and you can go left and right to slide the intensity of the fade I'm sorry not the intensity but the level of the fade and then up and down at the same time to put a curvature in it for the intensity so since we're going with a low five vibe 
Go ahead and loop this. So first up, since it's right there in line, I got the isotope, and what I do is I reset all of these. It's on 2035. All right, so to get an eclectic vibe, I want the warp, some of the electrical noise, and the mechanical noise. But let's just do one at a time, see what it does. Mm -hmm. Phones, you really can't tell, but I can. Uh, actually, what it does, it kind of gives it a. Um, that's actually pretty good. Um, if you actually used vinyl before, kind of has that that the sound of a dull needle. four different selections here of sine waves actually so let's try this one
All right, not bad. So moving on to the J37. I'm gonna be honest with you right off the bat, I use this a lot, so I already know it's a beast. And I actually was doing something before, so let's go ahead and reset that. Let's boost the saturation. That is pretty much it. Two additional plugins, and just for extra, let's turn them both on, see how it sounds. Curiosity plugin. That's sick.
I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be using this on a lot more than I actually thought. I'm so glad I got curious about it. Um, wow. Finisher Micro. It amazes me sometimes that so much can be going on underneath the hood where all you got is one, two, if you want to count the input, output, four knobs, and it's doing so much else underneath. But those are the other two vinyl lo fi uh, helpers that uh, I tend to use a lot. I'm starting to really get into the aspect of lo fi. Uh, stay tuned. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and make sure you leave a comment down at the bottom. Um, I'll try to see what I can do and come up with. Um, wow, I'm just, I, if I seem like I'm lost for words, I'm just, I, I didn't expect this plugin to be that and you know how you go looking for something and you know the the type of sound you want it to achieve and sometimes you fall short and sometimes it surprises you like this one this is just extra you done made it this far you might as well go ahead and rock with me to the rest of it go ahead and throw some drums on here real quick So there you have it my new favorite plugin be on the lookout for it uh go over to you jam check it out uh also pick up the isoto vinyl also get the the free cassette um plug-in i'm gonna have links for all this down in the description once i get uh to the details of it but other than that i hope that you enjoy creating music or sound design or something be a voice to the world always remember be creative be kind be nice and doing what you love will always seem like work until you put God first all right peace That is amazing. Hey guys, be sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this, share it. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button.